President Joe Biden will be in L.A. this week hosting other leaders from around the world for the Summit of the Americas. Yeah, so what does that mean for you? Well, it means near downtown L.A. there's going to be a lot of closures, detours, yeah, and extra traffic. CBS News' Cara Finstrom live in downtown L.A. Cara, you are going to be the bear bad news for commuters this morning. <laughs> You are going to want to make some adjustments this week. Behind us, these are some of the road closures right outside of the L.A. Convention Center where those world leaders will be gathering starting later today through June the 10th. This is the only, uh, the second time that the U.S. has hosted this event since it started back in 1994. All right, take a look. As you mentioned, President Joe Biden will be taking part. He is set to arrive on Wednesday. Vice President Kamala Harris, she will also be here part of the weekend leading some events. Uh, leaders from North, South and Central America all taking part. They will discuss a long list of issues impacting the region from climate change, migration and the pandemic to human trafficking and economic growth. There is some underlying tension this morning with the exact participant list still unclear. Mexico's president and some other leaders have threatened to boycott over the U.S.'s exclusion of authoritarian leaders from Cuba, Nicaragua, and Venezuela. All right, let's give you a closer look now at the traffic warnings. Caltrans is asking drivers to avoid the 110 northbound between the 10 and the 101 where the level 4 is. On the northbound side, drivers are asked to steer clear of all the exit ramps between the 10 and 101, and on the southbound side, to stay away from the Wilshire and 6th Street Avenue off ramps. Folks we spoke with out here over the weekend said they will be adjusting schedules as much as they can to avoid this area. I'm not excited about it, that's for sure. I think it's not necessarily travel I'm so concerned about, it's about, it's about the potential protests. Yeah, so we've got some rallies expected as well. And Tuesday is Election Day. We have put some links to all of these traffic changes online on CBSLA.com to help out folks uh, as they try and figure this out. Again, uh, this is expected to take place between today and the 10th. Back to you.